What's going on, folks? Welcome back to Inversion 101. This is Filthy Rich, Community Manager. And Ken Ma, Producer on Inversion. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of sick things that you could do in Inversion, and specifically, staying on topic for defensive strategies. So, Ken, let's jump into it. One of the basic things that we have is a destructible cover system. Okay, so because Inversion is third-person cover-based shooter, it covers the first base mechanic that everybody's going to have to get used to. The thing about our game, because we have destructible cover, enemies are going to sit there and they're going to whittle away your cover. When that starts to wear down, you're going to find that you're going to take damage, so you have to keep moving. We're encouraging the player to go and explore the battlefield, find additional areas to take cover from, and hopefully take advantage of the fight. Now, the next big thing that we definitely want to talk about and it's super brand new to the world of Inversion is mobile cover. All right, mobile cover is just another way that we let the player use a grab link, customize their game, and let them play how they want to play. So, for example, I can grab any of these objects, throw any of these objects that are in the level, in the low gravity. I can grab it, and I can use that to manually deflect shots now. I use the right analog stick, move it up, move it down, left and right. So, you know, you're used to covers being there. You just kind of look for them, move from spot to spot. But in Inversion, we give you the ability to create your own. So being able to create the cover is another example of what the grappling can do, right? It can do all these different cool things. So we've set up these cool firefights. We've set up these cool scenarios where there's no cover at all. You can run around, it's completely empty. Enemies will still have some cover way in the back, but you gotta find some way to bridge that gap, get to where you are, and get to where they are to kill them. So we do that by letting you create your own cover. We've set up all these cars, piles of cars, and you can set them wherever you wanna set them. The last thing that we want to talk about today is the Shockwave. Shockwave is awesome. It's, it's what everybody needs to do the first time they pick up this game. And what's really awesome about this is that as much as it can be used as an offensive weapon, the defensive strategies that can evolve from the use of the Shockwave are almost endless. So the Shockwave is an ability, is a gravity ability that you can use from your Graveling device. Again, you can kind of use it. It's primarily used for defensive. You can also find other applications to make it offensive. But first example, Low gravity shockwave. Shoots a little projectile in front of you. It's real short range. It doesn't go too far out, but once it hits, it travels along the floor, hits these group of enemies, and it just toss them in every single direction. Now, on the upside end, we've got the high gravity version. High gravity shockwave is what you want to use when you're backpedaling. A whole bunch of guys are charging at you. You've got no more ammo. You don't know what to do, but you've got enough to get this last shockwave out. I hope you folks enjoy this episode of Inversion 101. If you're ready to go all out and play a game like Inversion and learn about both offensive and defensive strategies like you did today, make sure to stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.